Hi Chewies, here's Alexandra and today we are making a new painting tutorial here. So you all know painting with an airbrush looks awesome. You can see results like that for example by uh, the work from Les from Awesome Paint Job or everybody also uses uh, airbrushes to very very high standard but not everybody has one. And then there are layering techniques with very, very liquid color and layer after layer and after layer. And you can uh, make color transitions superb, but not everybody uh, has the patience to do this. So I'm always uh, kind of seeing, um, well, new techniques evolve. And in this painting tutorial, I'm going to paint a blood angel but not in the traditional uh, kind of way. So <clears throat> this will be a unique uh, test. So I will prime him now in uh, the Army Painter Spray Primer uh, Pure Red. So, and like usual, I'm back when he's primed. Usually the method of painting uh, blood red or blood angels in that case, <clears throat> will be to uh, prime them uh, in a red color, then uh, give them a wash, repaint them, highlight them, and then they are finished. <clears throat> but um, the red color has a very, very low um, coverage ability. So what I'm doing here is now uh, turning the uh, normal way upside down. <laughs> What I have here uh, are two um, versions of pigment, one black and one burnt umber pigment, and I'm adding now water to the pigments. <coughs> so, and I'm uh, basically creating a wash out of this. A dark, dark brown wash with pigments and water. So, and like usual, I will simply cover the whole miniature with this pigment. So, <clears throat> what will happen is the usual way that uh, the recesses are dark and, uh, well, uh, kind of sloppy at the um, upper parts, but that's okay. We will uh, get rid of those. <clears throat> what we uh, really want to have here is nice shadows in the dark recesses. So, I will finish that and leave the pigments to dry. And I'll be right back. I guess now you think, oh my god, this looks totally ugly. And you could throw away this miniature now. But you are far from right. <laughs> What I use now is a makeup applicator. You can find in every drugstore or cosmetic store or just simply ask your girlfriend or mother or sister. <laughs> so I'm uh, making it slightly wet but not uh, overly wet <coughs> so it doesn't flood your miniature. And now what I'm doing is removing the top parts of the miniature. Well, the pigments from the top part. It's, it's like I'm wet sponging this marine now. And <coughs> from time to time you need to wash this makeup applicator. And you see how the red is reappearing. And this way we are going to highlight the whole miniature without using any kind of color. And we don't have, the, have to hesitate with painting on this red color. See how easy that is? <clears throat> but don't remove everything. Leave something in the recesses behind. That's the whole reason we have done it in the first place. 
as a shadow. Just on the top parts of the surface we are removing the pigments now. So washing again, dabbing off. And cleaning <clears throat> and the more you do that uh, the cleaner the miniature will be it is totally up to you how clean and how bright red you want to have your marine so this is just a quick tutorial for me. So uh, now what's left to do is uh, painting all the uh, metal parts and all the details and uh, blah blah blah. I've done this uh, several thousand times in my videos. <laughs> I just wanted to show you in this video uh, how to paint red armor in a slightly different way than usual. I hope you like this and uh, well some of you might use this as a fast and very quick and effective way of painting blood angels or any other marine with a red armor. Until the next video, you're Alexandra.